Rockefeller's activities, in fact, went beyond funding into actual lobbying at the highest level. President Bill Clinton and the First Lady and current Secretary, well, not, not, no longer current Secretary of State, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Long before the term exopolitics was in vogue, Lawrence Rockefeller was practicing it in the White House from 1993 to 1996. This has come to be known as the Rockefeller UFO Initiative, a multi-pronged campaign to get the U.S. government to release sensitive information on UFOs and extraterrestrial intelligence. The initiative is documented in hundreds of pages of correspondence released a few years ago by the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy, or STP, under the Freedom of Information Act. These documents can be accessed at the Paradigm Research Group website. And also, of course, Grant Cameron has obtained lots of additional documents. I'm enclosing a long article describing all the various facets of the so-called Lawrence Rockefeller UFO Initiative, published in the Open Minds Magazine, number 6, February, March 2011. It is not necessary to go into the biographical background of Mr. Rockefeller in this short presentation, except to note that he was one of the original grandsons of the founder of the dynasty, John D. Rockefeller, that he was obviously extremely wealthy and well-connected, that he had studied philosophy at Princeton and was quite a visionary even in business, where he seemed to be always ahead of the curve, backing aeronautics in the 30s, electronics in the 60s, and conservation and environmental efforts throughout his long career. Although the mainstream media chose to ignore it, his intense interest in UFOs and ET issues in the 90s fits very well this pattern. <laughs>